Vault is an open source secrets management tool that's used to automate access to secrets, data, and systems. First released in April 2015 by HashiCorp, it's undergone many version releases to support securely storing and controlling access to tokens, passwords, certificates, and encryption keys. Vault can be used to protect sensitive data via the command line interface, the HTTP API calls, or even a user interface. It's commonly used with cloud platforms like Azure, Google Cloud, and AWS, but it can be used with many other types of services that we'll learn about in this video. In fact, its most common use cases are general secret storage, employee credential storage, API key generation for scripts, and data encryption. At its core, it's really just open source software that anyone can download and install. Once installed, you can start a Vault server. And Vault operates as a client server application, which means that the server client interacts with the backend over a TLS encrypted connection to access data storage. Once the server is running, you can use a Vault client to retrieve stored secrets by using the Vault server's IP address and ports, as well as a Vault token. From there, you can do quite a lot. Whenever you need to create a new secret, for example, you can do that like this. At which point the data is then stored encrypted in the backend and that backend cannot decrypt that data without the vault server, meaning that an attacker would have to gain access to your vault server to be able to decrypt the data. You can then retrieve the secret just like this. Now this is an example of using key value secrets, but Vault can do much more than just that. It can also connect to other services and provide encryption as a service. You can view all of the supported secret engines in their documentation, but some notable ones are cloud providers, Kubernetes, databases, SSH, and time-based one-time passwords, as well as others. Now you can think of these as plugins that you enable or disable depending on what you need Vault for. An added benefit of Vault is that it enables creating dynamic secrets. With key value pairs, we're storing static secrets like a username and password, but what about secrets that should constantly change? Well, with dynamic secrets, the secrets only get created as they're being read and then destroyed once they've been used. We could do this for cloud-based access as an example, or as another example, we could use this for database access. Traditionally, developers have to generate a static set of database credentials, and then they set those credentials as environment variables, or they write them statically in configuration files. Instead, applications can ask Vault for database credentials, and those credentials will have a time to live, or TTL, so that they expire after a certain amount of time. The application can continue using those credentials until they expire, and then Vault will generate new ones. And before you ask, instead of having to use yet another authentication source for managing access to Vault, you can use one of many auth methods that are supported by Vault that you can see here, including cloud providers, JSON web tokens or JWT, Kerberos and LDAP, Kubernetes, username and password, etc. So overall, Vault is a secure storage system that provides users with a safe and convenient way to store sensitive information. It offers storing encrypted data and multiple layers of authentication to ensure a high level of security, making it an ideal solution for businesses and individuals. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe for more content just like this. I'm also very curious to hear if you're using any other sort of secrets management tool or if you plan on trying out Vault after watching this video. So leave a comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.